Hey guys, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about B-roll. Actually, we're going to be doing more than just talking about it. We're going to go out on the motorcycle here in a few minutes. We're going to grab some B-roll. But before we do that, one of the things I like to do is to define our terms when we start talking about something new. So what is B-roll? B-roll is actually footage that you can make with an additional camera, with your normal camera, and B-roll supports the A-roll with different cuts and frames and footage and things of that nature to keep your audience attention. So B-roll helps to confirm the story that's told by A-roll, but breaks up those shots so sometimes it's just a little less boring. So what is the difference between A-roll and B-roll? Well, with A-roll, you can think of it this way. It would be, A-roll is your main story, really the driving force of what you were trying to do to communicate with your audience. So now that we've got those definitions and those terms out of the way, we're gonna hop on the motorcycle, we're gonna actually grab some B-roll, try to make this video a little more interesting. Now I think for the most part, B-roll on a lot of all of our videos would really do us some good. You know, B-roll, it's one of those things that really captures the audience attention a little longer. Uh, it provides them something else to watch and think about. And it really provides that polished and professional look that a lot of people like to associate with their videos. Now right over here, there is a cool little spot that I've been dying to get some pictures at. And sometimes their parking lot is just packed. Let's we'll see what it looks like today. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool, right? So we're gonna just uh, take a quick little break over here. What about that, huh? That's pretty cool for some nice B-roll footage. Let's do that. Now, usually when I stop over here, it's pretty crowded. But this is, if you guys can see that barn across the street, it's actually a wedding venue. And they have all types of weddings over there, corporate events and that type of thing from time to time. And I believe this building here is also associated with them. But it's always just been a very cool uh, B-roll photo op area. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Let's press on to our next location. stop off up here at the high school and see if we can do uh, set up my little camera on a tripod and maybe just do a few little jab hands and that type of thing and get some b-roll footage that way of driving up and driving around so let's see what we can get here Another thing that I think of with B-roll is, you know, don't stop rolling. You just can't get enough B-roll. Try to cover just about everything you can from every single angle you can. I don't know, sometimes you might be able to catch that perfect shot that you're just not looking for. And B-roll doesn't have to necessarily be in frame. It can be out of frame, it can be out of focus, it can capture movement, it can be still. Whatever you're in the mood for, really, you can do that. And don't be afraid to throw in some effects like slow motion and time lapse. Now, I would just barely consider myself an amateur photographer slash videographer at this point. I mean, I don't know nothing. But I will tell you this, some of the best information that I've ever watched on B-roll and really just filming was a monthly class by Casey Neustadt. And it was so informative 
and so well done it, it was just fantastic but i learned a lot on there about uh you know how to uh shoot b-roll and uh don't be afraid to double up shoot as many times as you need to uh, do it in slow motion do it in time lapse do close-ups far away all those type of things so uh, we're going to explore a little bit of b-roll footage out here right now Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on B-roll and how it can contribute to better products that we release on YouTube as motor vloggers. Uh, really, this is just my way of trying to contribute to the community a little bit so we can all get better and study more of the craft and the hobby that we love so much. So I tell you what, if you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, would you please consider subscribing to the channel? I would greatly, greatly appreciate, appreciate that. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.